we are not clickbaiting. We're clickbaiting a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> well, DJI hasn't been banned for real, but every time in the past when someone has covered a story that, oh, DJI banned in the United States, they've been wrong. Do you want to tell the people why they're wrong? Why they have been wrong? Yeah. Yeah. So up to this point, um, essentially, DJI has been added to a couple different lists, and these lists are affecting things like the Department of Homeland Security purchasing drones or the Department of Justice to purchasing drones. Um, we've also seen local uh, areas like Florida has banned DJI drones, but only for the purchase from purchase of government employees right. um, and people who are getting federal funding for that. Uh, so that federal funding can't be used for these drones. Uh, but this is kind of a change in that, because if this bill goes through, which this bill is still got to go through the House and the Senate, it's just been introduced. Mm -hmm. um, but however, if this does go through, then this sets a different kind of precedent, um, because right. previously we've been dealing with, like we said, Department of uh, Homeland Security and DOJ and all these yeah. kind of government entities. Specific and now this federal one, agencies or federal employees couldn't use DJI drones or couldn't buy them, but individual consumers could still buy them as usual. And so this, it's yeah. all been much ado about nothing. Uh, and, yeah. and in the, some ways, Blunty, this is similar because the actual bill, the bill does basically add DJI to the like restricted entities list. Yeah. But there's been another change that changes the implication of that. Yeah, so essentially, um, yeah, the bill text just kind of adds in a section. There's a there's a section in the code. Um, yeah, you have it here, I believe. It's mm -hmm. Section C is the part of the code we want to look at. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a list down there on Section C um, that shows us all the different things under it that are requirements. So if mm -hmm. you scroll down a little farther, not that one, sorry, the big set. Yeah, there you go. So one, two, three, and four here are the th are the reasons that the FCC is putting things on the entity list. Mm -hmm. um, uh, sorry, we should call it the covered list because I believe that's the technical term here. Mm -hmm. um, this bill adds a number five. A number mm -hmm. five in this bill, which is very different than the rest of this bill, as right. you can see here, says specifically calls out DJI and asks them to be added to the list and also any services provided by them to be added to the list mm -hmm. directly through the bill text, which is kind of interesting. And and the reason that this is not just more clickbait like I like we've sort of picked down in the past is yep. that there's been another change to the FAA authorization program, which says the FCC authorization program. Sorry, yeah. So the, the FCC, FCC authorization, authorization, if you click that report and order PDF, we can see uh, the text of it. Um, uh -huh. But basically, uh, this goes through and says, hey, if you are, um, if you're on this covered list, mm -hmm. then we're not going to approve your stuff in the US anymore. And right. this is what happened to Huawei, uh, mm -hmm. ZTE. Um, and some of the other companies that they've put on this covered list. Um, and we haven't seen anybody else be added to this covered list up to this point. It's just right. been these companies. And they've been added to the entity list, covered entity list, which is a different list. You know, there's, a, there's a bunch of different lists going on in the Department of Homeland and the Department of Justice and stuff. But this will be the first time, if this gets added, um, that it would essentially cause the FCC to stop approving devices under Part 15 in the United right. States uh, by DJI. And that and, would mean that it's not legal for sale to consumers anymore without well, a hand license or some kind of special use right. requirement. So, so theoretically, we all, as FPV hobbyists, a lot of us use equipment that doesn't have a Part 15 certification, and we do that under Part 97, which is the ham license rules. Now, uh, realistically, I know many of us also don't have a ham license and just go, eh, who cares? I'll just do what I'm going to do. I understand that. But if you're playing by the rules. Um, and so theoretically, DJI could continue to sell their stuff, but only to people who would use it legally would be people with a ham license. And of course, for that would be a, a death blow for DJI in the United States. They rely on the fact that their stuff is easy to use without, uh, I was going to say without registration requirements. Well, I mean, DJ, you have to register for DJI. So they have your info, but you don't need to have a, like a ham license or anything like that. You just buy the DJI and you can fly it. You have a good time. So that's why when I saw some of you in the comments be like, oh yeah, so your title's clickbait too. Read the title carefully. It says DJI might actually be banned this time. It's true. If this bill goes through with the change to the FCC rules that passed, that that occurred, I think it was in February of this year, 
then DJI would not be able to get Part 15 certification. And essentially, it would be very difficult to impossible for them to sell. Certainly at the, uh, like the FCC is not going to be like, yeah, DJI, I guess you're selling 80 billion drones a year well, just to people with a ham license. Yeah, for context, you know, if we could think back, part of the reason that um, we saw Hobby King get in trouble was mm -hmm. advertising of, of mm -hmm. devices. And so DJI currently advertises to market consumers. They have, mm -hmm. you know, whoever's out there and they're advertising to those people. But you can't do those advertisements anymore because you can't sell to those people. You know, it's very specifically like their whole market scheme and how they build the DJI in the in the States is to push this like, hey, go out and fly your Mavic Mini and record your trips and like you know, all these kind of things that would happen. Mm -hmm. And this would basically prevent them from advertising in that way and selling in that way. You know, you can't just like, I mean, maybe you can, but you probably have to have disclaimers if you drop one of those boxes in Best Buy and try to sell it yeah. in a Best Buy. You know, it's yeah, going to be no. a totally different experience. So. Now, uh, one of the questions here from Smokey Bear and a similar question from Kim Fused. Uh, Smokey Bear asks, would current gear be illegal too? And the answer, and Kim Fused asks, would our current air units be banned? And the answer to the, both of those questions is no, but for different reasons. Your current gear already has a Part 15 certification. That certification is good, although it's worth pointing out, if you put custom antennas on your DJI goggles, your Part 15 certification is out the window because you've modified them, and the Part 15 certification is only... If you did the ham unlock, your Part 15 is out the window. Now, you probably don't care about that, and neither does anyone else. Yeah. But theoretically, the you should have a ham license if you've made those changes. Yeah, realistically, the impact here isn't that you cannot operate it anymore because it's not part 15, because most people won't care. The realistic mm -hmm. part is you cannot sell these and market them in the same way in all the same places for the same cost because of scale mm -hmm. um, that you did before if they're not allowed to be part 15 anymore. I think that's yeah. the, more, the more of the concern there. And as for the air units, the air units are also part 15 certified, but like everyone I know does the ham unlock or the 1200 milliwatt unlock or, you know, uses them. So for FPV hobbyists, this is really moot. It's really more about DJI's hobby drones, which are marketed to people who don't have a ham license. And if they were not part 15 cert, and then, and then people who have ham licenses buy them and modify them. And the FCC doesn't care because, you know, that's such a small fraction of the total sales. But if none of DJI's drones had a Part 15 certification, there's no way they could market them to the general consumers in the US. And that's why this isn't going to happen. Like, right. this is this is a, a, a law that was proposed by someone so, to make a political point. It's not going to pass, realistically, right? Probably not, but we don't mm -hmm. know. And one of the things I'll say is we didn't think things like this would happen ever, really. And instead, we saw Florida entirely ban all drones by their government employees. Like DJI nobody drones. in, yeah, nobody in DJ, nobody can operate a DJI drone legally if they're a government entity currently. And they basically got emergency funding from the from the state of Florida to pay for drones that are U.S. blue serviceable, like are made or whatever, so that they're legal. They basically dumped a ton of money into this to have them buy drones that are worse than all of them say are worse for the jobs that they're doing so that they could not be operating DJI anymore. So I just you know, hope we, we, that I just hope I, that the federal government of the United States is slightly more based in reality than f Florida. Sorry, Florida. We hope so, but we're seeing other states start, right to, now, Florida. start to turn as well, unfortunately. And we can kind of transition. That's why... I, packed in this last part in this uh, mm -hmm. story here, this kind of expands to talk about the rest of the U.S. Like we're talking about Florida here. And this mm -hmm. is an article by Drone uh, DJ that talks about, um, you know, the reports are saying basically it's devastating to do this to DJI drones in the United States. You know, and that shouldn't come as a, yeah, it will come as no surprise uh, that political efforts have been afoot to, to get rid of this. But... I mean, everybody's using these things and everybody uses oh, them because obviously. they're better than the other options. Like they're not cheaping out and buying DJI because they're cheap. They're buying them because they operate properly and they do the job that they're trying to get them to do. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, um, we've seen, you know, a lot of states start to do this. I know there's a plan in Texas to do this. Uh, Arkansas has been pushing this. Um, Alabama has legislation on this. Florida has already done this. Um, so yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just getting pretty ridiculous at this point. Um, 
And they quote some statistics in here from a Forbes piece mm -hmm. that talks about how big this would be. Um, and essentially, um, they said in New Jersey, of 550 drones, 440 were DJI and 65 were Autel. Yeah. You know, so there's they're using 40, like 45 U.S. made drones, you know, out of their whole fleet. Um, you know, the same with DJI over over half of their U.S. were affected because they weren't, you know, they're all DJI. So it's just yeah. it's just unfeasible. It's moving so quickly and there's not been a lot of fight against it because it's happening so fast. So, yeah, it is definitely a concern. It would be shocking to me if DJI lacked the lobbying power to prevent a bill from going through that would essentially lock it out of probably one of the largest markets in the world. Like if, if I don't believe my, my first line of defense is that this is so patently stupid that it's hard for me to believe the federal government would, would pass it. But Hey, the federal government, you know, continues to impress with its ability to do things that I thought previously unimaginable. But my second line of defense is my belief that multi-billion dollar global companies gonna gonna lobby and buy their way to getting what they want. So I still think yeah. this is unlikely. I mean, the fact that it's been proposed at all is, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, there's always someone willing to propose some stupid bill just to make a political point that they know will never pass. This one is unique, though. This is the first yeah, time that it actually might ban them. Yeah, that it would actually affect consumers. So we'll keep an eye mm -hmm. out on it, um, and we'll let you know as it passes or fails in the other yeah. locations. Uh, normally, we follow uh, some of these things with GovTrack or different bill aggregators that look through and try to gauge the chance mm -hmm. of the bill happening. But unfortunately, this one is too early to really get that information. So All right. Well, we will we'll keep, keep our eyes on it, and you'll keep watching the FPV news.